reached over a thousand views. What? What? You gotta make another video. Reached what? over a thousand views. Get up, get up. Ugh. Holy shit. The XR8 AEG is a G36-based airsoft replica by Star Rainbow Company. I bought the TAN model from evic.com for $250 plus shipping. The real XM8 is a weapon system designed by H&K and was briefly tested to replace the US Army's M16. It's now used by the Malaysian Special Forces and pops up in a ton of movies and video games. The XM8 has a contoured organic exterior and a sleek profile. Much like the real thing, it's completely polymer and takes many of its design cues from the G36. The XM8 comes packaged with an included scope and two high cap G36 magazines. The mags can be clipped together to make a cool sandwich. They fit in M4 mag pouches but are nearly impossible to pull out quickly, so I'd recommend picking up some G36 mag pouches if you intend on making this your primary. The gun looks awesome, but the plastic creaks and feels a little thin. It could probably be a little sturdier. It has a solid metal flash hider that is firmly attached to the outer barrel. It's difficult to remove, but the outer barrel can be screwed off and replaced if necessary. The XM8 has no forward rail system whatsoever. I've seen people mod the bottom of the handguard to have a Pictini rail for a foregrip, though, like the XR5, I prefer the standard handguard. The battery goes in the shroud. Oh god! <laughs> which is opened by removing this pin here. The plastic handguard then swings open on a swivel that looks really fragile. Inside you can see the inner barrel and a small type Tamiya connector. Only small types and nunchucks fit. Make sure that the wire isn't in the pathway of the pin when reinserting. The magwell has accepted every mag I've put in it. No tight fits here. The G36 style magazine clasp functions well and holds the mag without much wobble. The sleek SL9 short mags make it look like a cool sci-fi DMR. The XM8 has a sturdy integrated carry handle that gives it a defined look and supports the weight of the gun when held. Below that sits the G36 style charging handle. Pulling back on this retracts the faux dust cover and exposes the G36 hop up and the V2 Gen 3 gearbox. The included sight has low magnification and a bulky aluminum housing. It looks cool, but it's difficult to see through with goggles on. Luckily, the sight can be removed by taking out these two bolts. Underneath is a small pick tinny rail. I mounted a riser on mine so I can use other optics more easily. The XM8 has backup iron sights that fold up out of the carry handle. The front sight is spring loaded while the rear one is raised by hand. They're actually pretty nice. The grip is permanently attached to the lower receiver. It's rounded and easy to hold but it has no texturing. It also looks like a big dong. The ambidextrous select fire has a lot of wobble and doesn't really snap into place when switching between semi and full. Trigger response is decent, but sounds a little shaky even with a full battery. The 6th position stock has a weird organic feel to it. The sloping cheek rest feels fine without face pro, but the lack of a linear surface makes it awkward to aim at first. It wobbles when fully extended, but it's fairly rigid on the other settings. It's actually a pretty good stock, but you have to get used to it. The XM8 is 31 inches long with a collapsed stock and 34 inches long with an extended stock. It weighs approximately 6.3 pounds. Obviously, it feels very similar to a G36 style rifle like the CA SL8. Always remember to wear eye protection when firing an airsoft gun. I experienced no feeding issues with the included magazines, though, as before, the trigger response leaves something to be desired. I saw 80% accuracy at 100 feet. I'd say engagement distance is around 70 feet, with max distance at around 100 feet. The XM8 is listed as shooting at 330 to 380 FPS on EBIC. Unfortunately, the only chronograph I have is my ass.
The XM8 is an interesting G36 compatible rifle with an iconic shape, aggressive looks, and a long history of being the Betamax of firearms. It has a weird stock, awkward optic mounting, and no external rails, though all of these were features on the real rifle. It feels like you'd expect the real thing too, and is probably as close as most people will get to handling a real one. That said, its cheap polymer molding, clunky internals, and ineffective hop-up make it feel more like a prop than a usable weapon. Its light weight and low FPS make it a competitor for CQB, but out of the box it suffers at range. It can always serve as a cool project gun. At the end of the day, its main draw is that it looks cool. Aesthetically, I give the XM8 a 7 for its cool looks yet mid-level build quality. Performance-wise, I give it a 5.5 for standard performance with some minor stoppages. Whether you like it because of its history, its place in cinematic and gaming culture, or the fact that it looks like a river trout with a collapsible stock, the XM8 is a unique rifle that will turn heads on the field. Corporate approved shout out to Xavier Sturzel. He's an awesome guy that's been helping me get my channel some more attention. He uploads a lot of cool airsoft videos, so consider checking him out. And please, consider subscribing. Zoom in on that. Yep. So good. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me.